will surely heed me, O God, turn your ear to me, hear my words, guide me as the apple of your eye, and the shadow of your wings protect me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty and sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I know that good does not dwell in me, that is, in my flesh. The willing is ready at hand, but doing the good is not. For I do not do the good I want, but I do the evil I do not want. Now if I do what I do not want, it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells in me. So then, I discover the principle that when I want to do right, evil is at hand. For I take delight in the law of God in my inner self, but I see in my members another principle at war with the law of my mind, taking me captive to the law of sin that dwells in my members. Miserable one that I am, who will deliver me from this mortal body? Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, Lord teach, teach me, me your statutes. Teach me wisdom and knowledge, for in your commands I trust. Lord, Lord, Lord teach, teach me your statutes. You are good and bountiful. Teach me your statutes. Lord, Lord teach, teach me, me your statutes. Let your kindness comfort me according to your promise to your servants. Lord, Lord teach, teach me your statutes. Let your compassion come to me that I may live, for your law is my delight. Lord, Lord teach, teach me your statutes. Never will I forget your precepts, for through them you give me life. Lord, Lord, teach, teach me, me your, your statutes. I am yours, save me, for I have sought your precepts. Lord, Lord teach, teach me your statutes. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. With and with your spirit. And reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, When you see a cloud rising in the west, you say immediately, It is going to rain, and so it does. When you notice that the wind is blowing from the south, you say that it is going to be hot, and so it is. You hypocrites. You know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky? Why do you not know how to interpret the present time? Why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? If you are to go with your opponent before a magistrate, make an effort to settle the matter on the way. 
Otherwise, your opponent will turn you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the constable, and the constable will throw you into prison. I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to the Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Father. I'd like to wish those joining on video a good morning and welcome to the chapel at St. Mary's Home on Moffett Road in Mobile, Alabama. St. Mary's Home originally begun as an orphanage for children still in existence today, well over a hundred years, uh, begun by a group of religious sisters through the support of good men and women at that time. Even to our day, even though there are no longer sisters here to staff the facility, you still have good men and women who volunteer, good women and women who are on the staff who get paid, but who all believe in the same thing, the dignity of the human person, especially the dignity of children. That issue was an issue I remember years ago reading about uh, when I took some time and started reading about the writings of Margaret Sanger. If you remember Margaret Sanger, she is the founder of Planned Parenthood. And one of her statements, which is still echoed today by people of the pro-choice mentality, they say, well, you Christians, you Catholics, you tell us to have children, but what happens after? Well, the church, Catholic and Christian, have provided facilities which run really on the generosity of others in the beginning and now through government assistance who help those children who have been abused physically, mentally, emotionally, uh, I've heard horror stories, or to me they're horror stories of situations with involving children. But places like St. Mary's Home exist today to provide children with safe environments so they can know, number one, that God does love them despite the fact that they might have gotten a, a, a raw deal in life so far, or what we would assume a raw deal, that God has provided a place for them to go so that they can receive the help that they need to start the healing process, to eventually be, to, to eventually realize that it's okay. I'm not the cause of my parents' problems, that I am loved, and I am valuable, and I have dignity. So every Friday, if you ever notice sometimes that the, the, the mass that we post on Fridays is late, that's because every Friday I come here, along with other well-meaning, well-intentioned volunteers to join with the staff and we say this Mass for the staff, for the benefactors, for the children, that God will continue and Mary will intercede for this beautiful ministry dedicated to her honor and memory. As Mary protected and watched over and nurtured her own child, Jesus, so these staff people, the volunteers, the benefactors, do the same to all these children, most of whom are not Catholic, but they still take care of them. Why? They have been given that example to nurture, to care, and to love, because these children are Jesus Christ. They are his children. And the way we take care of them is the way we treat Christ himself. So please, Today, say a prayer that God may continue to bless St. Mary's home and God may continue to bless those 
active in this ministry in all other institutions throughout our world which seek to take care of our children. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We pray for the children, the staff, and the benefactors to St. Mary's home that Mary may always intercede and take care of all of them, and God may bless them. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray for the men, women, and children who passed away in England. Uh, we've been asked to remember them uh, from a, a faithful viewer. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And for all the needs of our brothers and sisters who watch this Mass on video, and for the needs of you here present in our church today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us say this Mass for an end to any abuses against children and for an end to abortion. May we start to treat children as we would treat the child Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude. And in this place, in honor of Mary, let us ask her intercession as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands to endure his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, 
God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed apostles, with blessed St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Live not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take care of the sins of the world, and mercy on us. Lamb of God, take care of the sins of the world, and mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, and I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age. Prepare for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael for our families. Holy Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praises for protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed, Blessed be God. God. Blessed be Jesus Christ, God, God, true man. Blessed, Blessed be the name of Jesus. Jesus. Blessed, Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed, Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed, Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed, Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Consoler. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and in his saints.